What is a nuclear cold test? This type of test is concerned with ensuring the performance of the nuclear weapon in such a way that instead of fissile material, for instance uranium-235, non-fissile substitute materials are used, in most cases uranium-238, or a tungsten alloy. And therefore it is possible to verify the feasibility of nuclear weapon designs with respect to all weapon components without the availability of difficult-to-access fissile nuclear materials. This test is primarily concerned with measuring the neutron flux from the neutron source, placed at the center of the bomb, in a given time. If such neutron flux can be measured and the number of neutrons exceeds the required number, it means that the bomb has indeed been built and the process of nuclear fission would begin if uranium-235 were used. Such tests are also used for nuclear bombs with different designs, and the effect of different designs on neutron flux. Rate and timing of neutron release is measured and determined, and the performance of fuses and explosive lenses requires accurate design, and other parameters are ensured. With such a cold test, Pakistan, for example, succeeded for the first time in 1983 under the leadership of General Mohammad Ziaul Haq, despite all international pressure and great difficulties, in being completely sure of the performance of its first nuclear bomb without a hot test. It conducted 24 more cold tests for bombs of various designs, both for bombs placed in underground tunnels and for weapons airdropped from F-16 fighters, and finally, in 1998. Just a few weeks after the Indian nuclear test, Pakistan also tested six nuclear bombs without problems, demonstrating its nuclear might. In 2003, Iran also conducted such a cold test at 100% bomb scale, or at least close to it with a neutron detector at the Marivan site, Abada, Fars province. In fact, one can test the efficiency of the neutron source, which in those years was a hydrogenated uranium metal disk with deuteron atoms, one of the isotopes of hydrogen. And this metal disk is exactly what the International Atomic Energy Agency is looking for today and demanding Iran to give answers. The result of this cold test is not known, but according to the earlier tests at Talagan, Parchin, another important military facility that played a key role in Iran's nuclear weapons program in the early 2000s, it can be assumed that this cold test of a nuclear weapon was successful and a huge neutron flux was measured, in other words. The nuclear weapon was ready at this point, and the only problem was access to enough fissile material. To solve this problem and the possibility of industrial production of nuclear warheads, a facility called al Ghadr was planned using gas centrifuge technology, which was later leaked and is now known as the Fordo Enrichment Plant. It is also possible that the cold nuclear test in Iran in those years was carried out more extensively in other locations or tunnels, for which no information is currently available. In any case, one can say with 100% certainty that in the years of the Ahmad project, Iranian nuclear weapons program, the distance of Iran to nuclear weapons was, if not zero, then very small. Thanks and see you next time.